Hi, I'm from vaporizerblog.com and today I'll be unboxing the long-awaited new PAX 2 portable vaporizer made by Plume. PAX 1 was a game changer in the portable vape business, but there were some flaws that some people were complaining about and apparently the PAX 2 has made some big improvements. Their tagline is smaller, smarter, sleeker. Let's see if that's true. So here's the box, and as you can see, the PAX 2 has maintained the same slick packaging, appealing to all you gadget lovers out there. Let's open the box up and see what we have inside. We'll just remove this. And here, inside of the box cover, they've also carefully designed this to act as a short manual. So for the full instruction manual, it tells you to go to paxvapor.com. Let's open up this other box here. And on the inside of this lid, there's a white on white embossed short four step how to manual, tough for you to see right now with the camera. Um, here is the PAX unit itself, and it has this silicone mouthpiece already attached to it. It looks a lot like its predecessor, but smaller, and we'll get into the differences soon. For now, we'll just place it to the side. And here in this box, Nice design, by the way. Look at they have the little LED uh, logo on, on everything. So here we have the magnetic charger uh, cradle with a USB cord. So that's a nice feature. And in this box, we have another, mouse no, another mouthpiece. And this is one with a raised option. And that fits very easily onto the unit, just like that. Super simple. We'll try this one for now. What we also have in here is the cleaning kit with the isopropyl alcohol and the special pipe cleaners. So, this is what you get when you order a PAX 2. So let's take a closer look at the unit. The PAX 2 comes in four different colors. This is topaz blue and it also comes in a flare red, platinum and charcoal. It's as elegant as the original model, but even better and silkier looking with its polished anodized aluminum surface and integrated LED uh, indicator that signals the state of charge, temperature and readiness of use. It's actually 25% smaller and 10% lighter than the PAX number no. one. And it's made with medical grade components, ensuring a clean vapor path and backed with a 10 year warranty. All the components are food safe engineering plastics of the highest quality. It feels nice and light, but still solid, which is a good feeling. Um, it's discreet and with no visible mouthpiece unless you put this one in, then it's really unclear what it actually is, so very discreet. The size of it, it's 3.87 inches tall and it's 1.21 wide and 0.85 deep. It has a lithium ion battery that recharges in two to three hours via USB and the battery is 30% more efficient and more powerful than the PAX-1. Those are some big changes that they made. One of the complaints was the oven and Plume has listened to its customers and made the oven even deeper with more efficient heating. So, and the lid pops in and out easy. So you can see that it's even deeper oven than before. It's smarter than the PAX-1 with its intelligent heating and cooling system and lip motion sensing technology. Plume said, we have redesigned the PAX-2 to have new heating algorithm that adjusts the temperature dynamically based on how you use it. We also focus the temperature algorithm on the materials themselves rather than the oven temperature to make sure the draw was consistent from first to last. That's quite a thing that they have done. It's streamlined with its one button interface, minimal maintenance. And as I've already mentioned, it comes with two interchangeable mouthpieces with this lip sensing technology to optimize heat and vapor production, which is another improve improvement from the PAX-1. The heating element is a thin film Captain heater flex. It takes less than a minute to heat up and the green light means go. All very easy to understand and use. It has an internal accelerometer that detects motion and puts the PAX-2 into standby mode when it's not being used so it saves battery life and oven contents. Nice. Okay, let's test the PAX-2 vaporizer now. So the first thing you want to do is make sure it's charged up. And to do that, you're going to need your cradle and the USB cord. So you snap that in, 
to place like that. And this just snaps right on top. And then you just plug in your USB into your laptop or computer. And then you see this flashing light going on. So, as I've already mentioned, it takes two to three hours to charge uh, the unit up. And of course, we've already done that. So what you want to do now is turn your unit on. And to do that, you just give the mouthpiece a short press right in the middle. And the LED will pulse purple like it is doing now. And once it's heated up, it'll turn green. And once it's gone green, then you're good to go. It heats up in 30 to 60 seconds, so that's pretty short. To check your battery charge, what all you need to do is actually give the unit a shake. So um, the pedals light up to indicate the battery level. So when you shake it, one pedal uh, is 25% battery, two pedals is uh, 25 to 50, three pedals is 50 to 75, and four is 75 to 100%. And as you can see, we have 100% battery. So there are four temperature settings, and to adjust the temperature setting, you hold down the mouthpiece just a little bit longer than you normally would. We'll give that a go. And you basically see it all light up red. And then if you give it a click, you should get your first temperature level, and that's a low temperature. You give it another click, and you get medium. One more, and you get medium high. And then your last one is high. For today, we're going to set the temperature on low for the herbs that we're using. So let me just get it back there. So there we have it on the low temperature with one petal. And um, I'll be using this nice special blend, which is a combination of sage, peppermint, motherwort, and blueberry. So I'll show you how to fill the oven chamber right now. Okay, so let's fill it up. And to do that, again, it's this great magnetic lid that easily slides in and out. So that's simple. Just take your herb. Fill it up to your preference, and I'm just going to do it medium, not too full, not too empty. Slide the lid back on again. And one full oven should last anywhere between 10 to 25 draws, depending on your temperature setting. So, let's give this a go now, and I'll let you know what the flavor is like. The flavor is very clean. Fresh, tastes good, and very nice with the draw is pretty good, but I think the draw could be a little bit better. These portables are getting more and more sophisticated. It's quite amazing. So to clean it, it's very simple. You just remove the oven lid, and you can just take the contents out over here to the side. And then you want to remove your mouthpiece as well. And what we're going to do is take one of the special cleaners, and you just slide that all the way through and it should pop through to the other side like that and the other little lid just pops out and you just basically can clean that back and forth and do that a few times if you like and we'll just put this all back together again for you so we can keep going so now I want to show you how you can exit the temperature set mode. So to do that, all you need to do is you can either hold down the mouthpiece button for an extended uh, press, or you just shake the device like this. And then you can see that it uh, goes out of the temperature set mode and we're back into the green. If you put your PAX2 down for 30 seconds or longer, the oven will start to cool down to preserve the battery life. But as soon as you pick it up again uh, or take a draw, it will automatically heat up to your uh, selected temperature. If the PAX2 doesn't sense your lips for 20 seconds, the oven temperature will go down a few degrees to save your herb so you're not wasting anything and it ensures your next draw is as fresh as the last. Uh, if the PAX2 doesn't move or sense your lips for three minutes, then it'll turn off completely so that your battery life is preserved and that's a really nice safety feature. So to recap, one thing I didn't like is that the airflow is a bit too direct and gets a bit hot. You have to really adjust your lips so you don't burn them. And the draw could be improved upon. The oven lid and the different mouthpieces are nicely designed, except they are those things that you might lose because they're all loose. On a positive note, if you like the PAX 1, you're gonna love the PAX 2. If you didn't like the PAX 1, you may be recruited into the PAX fan club. The PAX 2 is really the love brand in the portable vaporizer industry, as was the Mini to Autos and Apple to Computers. It is a beautiful gadget in a beautiful package and it delivers quality vapor. It's efficient, discreet, 
and definitely one of the top in portables to date. So as you can see, Plume has paid attention to their customers and made some great improvements with the PAX 2. It's not just a beauty, it delivers a vaporizer punch into the industry and our Vape Buster team gave this a big thumbs up. So that's it for today, but remember, be wise, vaporize, and for more information, check out vaporizerblog.com. Thank you.